hello boys and girls and any grown-ups who might be watching this today. It's my privilege to be with you for another Hope Kids video. And I don't know if you realise this, guys, but Christmas is coming. It is just round the corner and before you know it, it will be with us. Now, it's been a bit of a bumpy year in 2020, but Christmas can always cheer us up. So although it's a few weeks away yet, and some of you may not have even put your decorations up, I thought we'd do a little bit of a more Christmas-themed video in preparation for celebrating Jesus' birth. But if I'm going to do a Christmas Hope Kids video, I can't be wearing something like this. Look at this got a grey jumper on. I need to wear something a bit more Christmas themed, I reckon. So, take a step back, get my clicking fingers ready, and let's see if this will work. One, two, three, ah, ah, there we go. Perfect. That is a much better jumper for a Christmas themed Hope Kids video. We've got Santa Claus, Christmas trees, reindeer, and even some cute little penguins. There, I feel much more better wearing this now. So, what I'd like to do today, boys and girls, is I'd like to look at one story that happened when Jesus was born. Now, let's test your memory. Can you think of any other events, any other stories that happened at the birth of Jesus Christ. And tell you what, once you've thought of one, why don't you shout at the top of your lungs, right at the screen in front of you where you can see me, and shout out what story you can remember. Okay? On the count of three. One, two, three, go! Perfect. Excellent. Right, so... What did you guys and girls think of then? Uh, there's the story of the wise men who came to visit Jesus. There's the story of Mary and Joseph traveling to Bethlehem to find a place for Mary to give birth to Jesus. What else did you guys think of? Well, the one that I'm going to share with you today is the story of the shepherds watching their sheep by night and a special visit they had. Now, before we get into this story, I thought I'd break it up a little bit by having not some games, unfortunately. I know we've done some of those in the past and they've been really fun. But I thought we'd do a Christmas quiz and we'd break it down into three rounds of one Christmas quiz. OK, so you're going to have to have your thinking caps on and see how well you can do. So let's kick things off with our first round of our Christmas quiz. Question number one. Can you name all of Santa's reindeers? I'll give you a clue. There are nine. Can you name all of Santa's reindeers? And there are nine. Question number two. What were the gifts the wise men gave to Jesus when he was born? I'll give you a hint. There were three of them. OK, hang on to your answers. And at the end, I'll go through them all again and you guys can see which ones you got right. OK, let's go through the story of the shepherds and the amazing visit that they experienced. And we can find out what happened to them. Now, this story is found in Luke's Gospel and it starts from chapter two. Let's find out what happened to them. And in the same region, there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them. And the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of a great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, 
praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. Okay, here's round two of our Christmas quiz, and this is the next question, guys. What plant do people kiss under at Christmas? Blech. And the next question, where was Jesus born? And there's a clue, it was mentioned in the story we just looked at. Well, boys and girls, I hope you liked hearing that story about the shepherds and the angels. I love it. And there's one particular reason I love that story as well. It's because we get to see what worshipping God can really be like. That part in the story when the angels appeared to the shepherds at night in the field and they began praising and glorifying and worshipping God because he'd become a man born as Jesus Christ. That is absolutely wonderful and amazing that we can get that glimpse of how angels worship. And although it might sound a bit strange to talk about worship from that story, because that's not what everyone does when they read this story, or it's not what everyone immediately thinks of when they read about the shepherds and the angels. I love the fact that we can just get this glimpse into how brilliant worship is. Now, there was a little part in the story that I just wanted to read again and really quickly explain before we wrap up for the day, if that's OK. And it goes like this. And suddenly there was an angel, there was with the angel, a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. That is brilliant, that the angels were worshipping God. And you know what's even more brilliant is that you and me are invited to do exactly the same as the angels did. We get to worship God. We get to praise God through Jesus and everything he did by being born on the earth, living a perfect life and dying in our place and rising again from the dead. Because of everything Jesus did, beginning with being born in that stable, we get to do exactly what we read and heard the angels did in that shepherd's field. We get to worship God. It's such a privilege to be able to do that. And I don't know about you, boys and girls, but I've been quite sad about the fact we haven't been able to do that together as a church, as brothers and sisters, as family for such a long time because of not being able to meet up. But one day we will be able to do that all together again. And I am super excited to be able to. And then one day we'll get to do it completely, totally, all the time, eternally in heaven, in God's kingdom, with Jesus forever. And that's just amazing. And there's just three things that I thought would be really helpful to understand about worship. So next time we do get together and you see mummy, daddy or your grown up worshipping and singing to Jesus, you might understand the reason why we do that. So, first of all, worship is a response to the good news. What is the good news? Well, it is a massive thing, but ultimately it's what I just said about Jesus. The fact that he was born, he lived a perfect life that we couldn't, he died in our place so we wouldn't have to, and then he rose from the grave victorious, defeating death, defeating hell, defeating the devil, defeating our sin, and now he 
calls us to come and be with him. That's one of the key reasons we worship Jesus, because we are so grateful. We are so thankful. It's just how we respond to remembering what he's done for us. It's a response to his great news. Secondly, it's an experience of great joy. When the angels visited the shepherds, they were filled with joy because they were announcing the birth of Jesus, the God-man, the person who was both God and man. And they were thrilled, they were pumped, they were excited. And so they, they worshipped God in response. So it was an experience of great joy. So when you see someone worshipping, a lot of the time you'll see a big smile across their face or you'll see their hands raised or you'll see them jumping up and down or you'll see them dancing. It's because they're so happy. It's because they're so thrilled with who Jesus is and what he's done for them. And then lastly, it's an offering of glory. When we worship, we want to give something of ourselves to God. We want to offer ourselves to him. We want to offer all our hearts. We want to offer all our minds. We want to offer everything that makes us who we are to God because he deserves it because of everything he's done for us. So it's a response to the good news. It's an experience of great joy and it's an offering of glory. What a privilege it is to worship. And if you're able to do something of worship at home for the foreseeable future, then that's great. I'd encourage you guys to keep doing that. But one day we'll get back together again and we'll be able to sing and dance and clap and worship together. And we maybe can look a little bit like the angels did in that field with the shepherds. and girls so it's round three the last round of our Christmas quiz and let's see how you fare with these last two questions okay at Christmas what do people hang on their front doors hmm right the very last question who was also born just before Jesus hmm I'll give you a clue. He was Jesus's big cousin. Hmm. Okay, boys and girls, so that is the end of the Christmas quiz. I'll go through the questions again and I will say what the answers are and we can see how well you did. What, what, what are the name of all of Santa's reindeers? The answer, Donna, Blitzen, Dancer, Rudolph, Vixen, Dasher, Prancer, Comet and Cupid. What were the gifts the wise men gave to Jesus? Gold, frankincense and myrrh. What plant do people kiss under at Christmas? Mistletoe. Where was Jesus born? Now I will give two answers to this and if you got either that is correct. You could have said Bethlehem or you could have said a manger and you would be right both times. At Christmas, what do people hang on their front doors? Wreaths. And then the last question, who was also born just before Jesus? And it was John the Baptizer. He was Jesus's big cousin and he's also in the Christmas story. Okay guys, well, well done if you got all of them right or well done if you got some of them right. Uh, it was really fun to do the Christmas quiz with you all and I hope you enjoyed the story of the shepherds and the angels. Don't forget uh, that it is a joy to worship God and even in this season we're experiencing, let's not forget to still worship him. Uh, it's been lovely to be with you all and hopefully I will see you all soon, but not before Christmas. So have a great Christmas and a great New Year's and enjoy the run up to it. Bye everyone.
captive.